All right, guys, this is the um, Hinkle Shiner Shad from the recent batch. And um, when I first got it, I pull tested it, and it was actually kind of floating. What it would do is it just barely break the surface, and I'd push it down, and then I'd watch it, and the tail would come, the tail end would come up, and it touch the surface again. Um, I did a little, a real quick fix on it. Um, on these um, fins, like the dorsal fins and whatnot, and the fin back here, the upper fin up there. I don't know if you can tell. Let me try to get in better for light. Um, these fins, I was actually watching, and I could see like air bubbles collecting around them when I was putting it in the water. And when I was watching it, when I was pushing it down, it was, it was tilting up as it was rising. So what I did on the fins is I kind of like squeezed them and try to, um, you know, break any of the bubbles that was in the, these um, rubber fins. Because basically when he makes them, he pours them and sometimes uh, I, I think uh, air gets trapped in, in bubbles. And, you know, it, this bait is so tuned like so perfectly that you know just a slight little bubbles that will cause it to float so I just I what I did was I popped I squeezed this rear fin and this upper fin up here I don't worry about these bottom ones because they didn't seem like they're they were the issue and then afterwards um, as you can tell now let me see yep it has a really nice slow sink to it so not pushing it down just letting it on top of the surface Letting it go, and it's going down, and it's got a nice, really, really slow sink to it. Do it one more time, see if you guys can see. But really nice slow sink, very comparable to um, my slow sink on my uh, high power herring. Um, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this bait.